hello everyone welcome to insecta channel in the last class we have discussed about the sclerites of head and today we will go we will discuss about the suture of head so first we will discuss clipolabral suture so this suture it is present in between the clipus and labrum so clipus we already know clipus is located just above the upper lip suppose this is the upper lip upper lip is known as labrum so just above the labrum the clipus is present so in between this clipus and labrum clipolabral suture is there and it remains in the lower margin of the clipus from which labrum hangs down suppose this is the clipus in the lower margin of the clipus this clipolabral suture is located so from here the labrum or the upper lip is hangs down so remember clipolabral suture it is located in between the clipus and labrum next is clipofrontal suture or epistomal suture so in short question or in jrf you may get this type of question that is which suture is known as epistomal suture or clipofrontal suture is also called as dash so you have to remember both the name that clipofrontal suture is also known as epistomal suture and this suture is presented in between the clipus and fronts okay so in between the clipus and labrum clipolabral suture is there in between the clipus and fronts clipofrontal suture is there so this clipofrontal suture also known as epistomal suture next we will see epicranial suture so epicranial suture are inverted y shape so these are distributed above the facial region as you can see this is the inverted y shape epicranial suture and this epicranial suture it consists of two arm so these are the two arm this is one this is two okay these two arm it is called as frontal suture because it occupies the most of the area of fronts fronts means facial part so this frontal suture is occupying fronts area and another suture that is known as stem this one is known as stem and it is called as coronal suture remember these two are called as frontal suture and this stem is known as coronal suture so this epicranial suture is also called as line of weakness or ecdysal suture because what happens during the molting time splitting will start from this side also that's why it is known as line of weakness or ecdysal suture next we will see frontogenal suture so frontogenal suture develops on each lateral region of the head so lateral side you know uh, where the gina is located gina is the extent and this is the gina it is the extended part of the compound eyes already we have discussed so this frontogenal suture is this one in between this facial part and gina the suture located in between the fronts and gina is known as frontogenal suture next we will see occipital suture occipital suture is u shaped or horse shoe shaped and occiput we know inverted u shape but this occipital suture is u shape and these are located in between the epicranium and occiput this is the occiput this inverted u shape is the occiput and this region means extended part of the vertex is known as epicranium in between these two occipital suture is there this is the occipital suture okay next we'll see post occipital suture so post occipital suture it is the real suture so one important jrf based question is that sometime you may get question like which is which is the true suture or real suture so answer is post occipital suture so this is the post occipital suture so 
द फ्यूचर विल सेपरेट द हेड फ्रॉम द नेक दैट्स वाई इट इज़ नोन एज द ट्रू फ्यूचर और द रियल फ्यूचर वाई इट इज़ नोन एज ट्रू फ्यूचर बिकॉज इट इज सेपरेटिंग द हेड फ्रॉम द नेक हेन्स द नेम इज एज रियल फ्यूचर पोस्टरियर एंड ऑफ द हेड इज मार्क्ड बाय द पोस्ट ऑसिपिटल फ्यूचर टू विच द स्क्लेराइड्स आर अटैच नेक्स्ट ऑक्यूलर फ्यूचर सो ऑक्यूलर फ्यूचर इज अ सर्कुलर स्ट्रक्चर प्रेजेंट अराउंड द कंपाउंड आईज सो अराउंड द कंपाउंड आईज यू विल फाइंड दिस ऑक्यूलर फ्यूचर दिस इज ऑक्यूलर फ्यूचर दिज आर सर्कुलर फ्यूचर यू विल प्रेजेंट अराउंड द कंपाउंड आईज यू विल फाइंड अराउंड द कंपाउंड आईज नेक्स्ट इज एंटील एंटीनाल फ्यूचर सो दिज आर मार्जिनल डिप्रेस्ड रिंग अराउंड द एंटीनाल सॉकेट सो दिस फ्यूचर यू विल फाइंड अराउंड द एंटीनाल सॉकेट सपोज दिस इज द एंटीना दिस इज द सॉकेट अराउंड दिस सॉकेट यू विल फाइंड दिस एंटीनाल फ्यूचर नेक्स्ट विल सी द टाइप्स ऑफ हेड so the orientation of head with respect to the rest of the body varies according to their position the mouth parts are divided into or classified into three types one is hypognathous second one is prognathous third one is opisthognathous so hypo means below gnathous means jaw as you can see i think many of you have seen the grasshopper it is very common insect so grasshopper are having hypognathous type of mouth part because the head remain vertical and it is right angle to the long axis of the body see suppose this is the long axis of the body this is the long axis of the body and the head is vertical okay this is the head part and here mouth is there so mouth parts are ventrally placed and projected downward as you can see here is the mouth part that means they are ventrally placed to the downwards so this type of hypognathous type of uh, mouth part is also known as orthoptera type because in orthoptera you will find this kind of hypognathous type of mouth part so here what will happen the head will remain vertical and it is right angle to the long axis of the body this is the long axis and this is the head so it is making right angle next prognathous pro means in front and gnathous means jaw as you can see this is the head and this is the body axis so the head are projecting forward okay the head remain in the same axis of the body see this is the body axis and this is the head they will remain in the same axis not like 90 degree in case of grasshopper here no angle you will find okay so the head remains in the same axis to the body and mouth parts are projected forward here you can see mouth parts are projected forward so this is also known as coleoptera type examples beetle next we will see opisthognathus so opistha means behind and gnathus means jaw so as you can see here the mouth part is projected downward okay here also you can see so it is the same as prognathus but mouth parts are directed backward and held in between the four legs so same like the head is at the rate of 90 degree to the body axis right but what happen here the mouth part they are projecting in between the four legs these are the two front legs the mouth part will project in between the two legs okay this is also known as hemipteroid or opisthorhynchus type so this opisthognathus type of mouth part you will find in bug